in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16, 17 and 18, St. Paul says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Sisters and brothers, have you ever wondered what is God's will for your life? St. Paul is telling us here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16, 17 and 18, what is God's will for our lives? He's saying God's will for our lives is three things. Number one, he says, rejoice always. How important for us, in spite of all our difficulties, maybe struggles, illness, problems, crisis, Paul is saying, rejoice always. Why? Because joy is a gift from God. Joy, God is the source of all joy. Happiness comes to things, through people, through material things. But joy comes from God who dwells within us. And that's why Paul says, rejoice always. And I again say, rejoice. To be joyful in all circumstances. That is God's will for your life. Point number two. St. Paul is saying, pray without ceasing. How important it is for us Christians to pray at all times, for our minds to be preoccupied with the kingdom of God, to be always living in the presence of God. In all my years of experience, walking with the Lord for the last 44, 44 years, I have come to realize one thing. I have tried many types of prayer and I have come to one conclusion today. I want to share this with you. The conclusion to pray without ceasing is to pray in the gift of tongues. That's one beautiful way you can pray without ceasing. I have discovered it for many years now and I am praying without ceasing. Sisters and brothers, I want to encourage you to pray without ceasing. Pray in tongues. Pray for one hour. Pray for two hours. And when you do it, you will experience the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. That is the will of God for your life, to pray without ceasing. And the third point St. Paul says is, give thanks in all circumstances. In all circumstances. How important, brothers and sisters, in the modern world today, when people are so dissatisfied, there is so much of discontentment, so much of complaining. How important it is for you and for me as believers, for you and for me as Christians, to give thanks to God for all that he has given us, all that he has given us, our health, especially today. In today's world, when there is so much of uh, apprehension and fear about a virus, God has blessed you and me with good health, family, children, employment, finances, resources, talents and gifts. God has blessed us. And so it is important for us in the season of Lent to have the attitude of gratitude. Dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul is saying, what is God's will for us? Our God's will for us is to rejoice always, to pray without ceasing and to give thanks in all circumstances. Take some time off today, sisters and brothers, to sit in the presence of the Lord Rejoice in his, rejoice, pray continually, pray in tongues and give thanks for all that he has done in your life. Have a blessed day. God bless you.